you think your inner man has a problem believing all these things? No, he just does. He's a believer. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm going to be speaking on how speaking in tongues delivers you from yourself. You're like, I need some deliverance. Now, I haven't touched on this in quite some time, speaking in tongues, but you know I have in the past. I've dealt with the topic of speaking in tongues quite extensively here, but I've come to expect more out of my people. I mean, if we're going to go on, we're going to have to have some things foundationally established, right? So I expect more of those who are with me. But it's still important. So here we are. Speaking in tongues is the beginning of speaking as the Holy Ghost gives utterance. It's the pattern He set forth. We know that we walk with Him by saying words. This is the initial evidence of that. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 and verse 4 And they were some of them filled with the Holy Ghost and begin. Did I read that wrong? Mm -hmm. Wait, they were all Amen. filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, who wasn't part of the all that were filled? The ones that weren't there, and we know by other scriptures that there were 500 people that saw Jesus mm -hmm. raised from the earth, mm -hmm. went into heaven. And only 120 of them stuck around and obeyed what he told them to do mm -hmm. which was don't go anywhere until the Holy Ghost comes well anyway here we have the Holy Ghost coming and the first thing say the first thing the first, first, thing. Thing. The first thing he had them do was speak in agreement with him why do you have a problem with that that's the way we walk with God this is the initial thing he could have had them do anything mm -hmm. and they began to twitch with the Holy Ghost as the Spirit gave them twitchings I'm all for the twitchings but that's not what he said no. what did he say they began to speak was that the end of it that's the end of it they began and ended no they began it began listen it began this dispensation of the Holy Ghost it began the speaking in agreement with him I hope you heard that how are we going to end this dispensation by speaking in agreement with him say we began by speaking and we end by speaking what do you think you're going to do in the middle a lot of speaking are you here mm -hmm. so he had them begin to speak as he gave them and as you do this continue because he said it was a beginning a beginning must have a continuation right as you continue to do this as you continue to practice this speaking in agreement with him a training takes place on the inside of you what if you don't do it you don't get the training the training begins to reveal to you the real you great training on where the real you is say the real me, the real me. John 7 verse 38 he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his what belly shall flow rivers of living water so where are these things gonna flow from and this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, which we just read, mm -hmm. they did receive. Mm -hmm. So where is this 
utterance flowing out of their belly yeah. say their belly. their belly out of the belly the inmost being does that make sense to you mm -hmm. he's not saying out of your actual physical stomach no. right? right out of your belly the real you is your inmost being say the real me, the real me. is my inmost, my inmost being. being and that's your spirit man that's your spirit man mm -hmm. now years ago back when I was in Bible school I wasn't very old 20 ish I would walk the floor and I would pray in tongues I walked back and forth on the floor my little apartment there and I would pray in other tongues and I would speak in tongues and I would pray in tongues and I would do that for hours mm -hmm. say for hours. for hours in fact I put in my 10,000 hours but while I was doing this walking the floor praying in other tongues walking the floor back and forth speaking in other tongues the realization came to me that this is the real me I located listen I located my inner man through the vehicle of speaking in other tongues I found out hey that's who I really am this is my real language this is the real me mm -hmm. say this is the real, is the real me. me the real me wasn't my mind the real me wasn't my body or my circumstances the real me was that spirit man and why would that happen while I was speaking in other tongues because while you're speaking in other tongues your spirit man is active it's out of you that inmost being the spirit man that you are speaking it's great training mm -hmm. to pinpoint where the real you is and Jesus said it was out of the belly so that's the real me and I located him by speaking in other tongues does that make sense mm -hmm. you're not speaking in tongues out of your mind do you know this do you know when you're speaking in tongues you can read things mm -hmm. I'm speaking in tongues and I'm reading so well, how are you doing that because with your mind you're reading but you're still speaking in other tongues out of your your inmost being right, right. so speaking in tongues is a great tool that's my point of learning how to pinpoint and locate who the real you is mm -hmm. some people need to hear this they've never heard anything like this before first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 and the very God of peace sanctify you holy mm -hmm. who's this very God of peace holy the God. Holy Ghost sanctify you holy mean completely and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ spirit soul and body three parts of you Kenneth E Hagen used to say he said if you consider the Bible in light of spirit soul and body this revelation we're talking about if you consider the Bible in light of spirit soul and body it will clear up a lot of things for you and he put it this way with my body I touch the physical world are you here this is gonna help you with my body I touch the physical world right yeah. if I want to lift up the podium and move it over there I'm gonna use my what my mind yeah. mm, it'll take longer yeah. <laughs> no you touch things in the physical world with your physical body with my mind I touch and interact with solical things thoughts emotions reasonings your will is in that world so with my body I touch and interact with physical things with my mind I touch and interact with mental things solical things thoughts emotions well that leaves one part of you left what part is that your spirit man and with your spirit you touch and interact with spiritual things well who's a spiritual thing holy the Holy Ghost so your interaction is going to be with him where with your mind 
with your reasoning with your physical body no it's with your spirit man so it's with my spirit i touch and interact with the spiritual realm the realm of spiritual things say the realm, the realm. of spiritual, spiritual things. things now is there anything in that realm anything mm. in that realm all things are there for you listen all things are there for you are they going to come from god then that's where they're coming from they're coming from that realm that's the real you say that's, that's the real me. real me I hope I can get you here because this is where everything comes from if you're trying to receive it somewhere else people are, do this they try to receive it in their mind mm. they try to receive the things of God in their mind or they try trying to receive it in the physical world that's not where it comes first it happens to you the real you on the inside first you got to get this straight I am a spirit I have a soul I live in a body and I learn to me the real me learns how to control my soul better and learns how to control my body better the body better, body better. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to get a grip you need to get into the spirit realm of things because all things are there for you say all things, all things. Are there, are there for me, for me. the real you your spirit is in the spirit realm does this make sense mm -hmm. where's your mind mm -hmm. in the mental realm where's your body uh, it's right over there it's right it's in this physical world right mm -hmm. where's your spirit it's in the spirit realm already we need to learn how to put spirit first then the mind then the body is that how most people do it no they've got it some other way which means they are out of order they're out of order you need to get in order the real you is a spirit man is a spirit person you must be out of your mind <laughs> yeah in a way and we're talking about the how speaking in tongues to deliver you the real you from yourself that's in your mind in your body are you getting this mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 15 what is it then I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding also I will put my spirit man first because lots of times you'll say oh I will pray in other tongues and your mind will say I will not who wins usually the mind or the body what is it then I will pray with the Spirit I am the one that prays but you have to get your will in line with the I to do it does this make sense yes. I is your spirit man and the will is your mind and the praying in other tongues you have to use your mouth are you getting this yes. I have to put a chart up here first Corinthians 14 verse 5 I would that you all spake with tongues is the Bible God's will for everyone mm -hmm. here it says I would that you all spake with tongues or that you all speak with tongues you have to speak with the tongues I would that you spake who's the one that speaks in tongues where do you receive this gift of the spirit it comes to your spirit man the real you and then you will to speak it out the spirit man is the real you and all things come out of this place this spiritual place because there are spiritual things the real you is healed the real you is delivered the real you is youth renewed the real you is wealthy he's already these things he's already received these that you think your inner man has problem believing all these things no 
he just does he's a believer we have many scriptures many scriptures that say you were healed Amen. you were delivered Amen. he sent his word and healed you and delivered you past tense already done you had your youth renewed and you are made wealthy you were made rich are you here mm -hmm. who was you was your inner man mm -hmm. the real you are you getting this yeah your thinking has limited you to the things that you think you know <laughs> but your spirit man is not limited your spirit man is unlimited say my spirit man, my spirit is, man. Unlimited. is unlimited why because of his connection to the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost limited no. what realm does he live in your spirit man is not limited because he knows more now I wrestled with this a little bit there is a caveat here you can only go as far as your doctrine will allow as your doctrine will and it will only allow you to go so far I'm not naming any names there was a woman that came to one of our meetings she began hearing me talk about worshiping the Holy Ghost and from that moment on she rejected well that message she certainly wasn't gonna worship the Holy Ghost but she rejected me yet she sat there and prayed in tongues under her breath for the rest of the night her doctrine wouldn't allow her to go to this other place even though say even though even though. even though she was filled with the Holy Ghost and was speaking in other tongues if your doctrine won't allow you to worship the Holy Ghost as God praying in tongues for 10,000 hours won't get you here it'll only get you to as far as your doctrine will allow you to go and our will is where our our doctrine will allow and sadly many Pentecostals most of the Pentecostals I know and I know a lot please understand what I'm saying most of the Pentecostals I know reject prosperity as if it's not from God out of their doctrine and even though being a Pentecostal means you believe in speaking in other tongues and the gifts of the Spirit but you reject that doctrine of being blessed by God financially mm -hmm. so it wasn't the speaking in tongues that was holding them back it was their doctrine does this make sense mm -hmm. do you know some people like this mm -hmm. beautiful great people but they won't go there and most of them will not worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today they can't go there but if your doctrine allows it mm -hmm. get ready Amen. and praying in tongues can begin an effectual work in you taking you all the way to where those doctrines allow and thankfully here our doctrine allows us to believe in all these things mm -hmm. worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today will that take you anywhere yeah. healing and health youth renewal and prosperity for sure mm -hmm. Acts 24 verse 14 but this I confess unto you he's gonna say something mm -hmm. this is Paul but this I confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers mm -hmm. could the Holy Ghost be considered the God of his fathers yeah. believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets verse 15 and have hope towards God which they themselves also allow they allow for it therefore they can believe for it therefore they could go there what does that mean they allowed it mm -hmm. that means through their doctrine through what they believe they would allow this yeah. something about God 
he will do things for you that you will allow him to do sometimes you just need to be delivered from yourself you should allow God to do whatever he wants to do to you Psalms 18 28 says for thou wilt light my candle the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness who does this the Holy Ghost the Lord your God will light your candle he will enlighten your darkness Proverbs 20 27 says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord illuminating all the inward parts of the belly say the belly. the belly do you remember that what would that be the innermost part of you he said first that thou wilt light my candle and illumine your darkness mm -hmm. where's he gonna do it in your belly then it said the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord illuminating all the innermost parts of the belly this is where he communicates is it important to know this I can't tell you the number of people some of them a little bit wacky they think God communicates with their mind he's not talking to your mind he is not a mind where does he communicate with you scripturally in your inner man it's where he lives where's the Holy Ghost live on the inside of you and it's where he communicates say communicates it's where he gives you things I hope you can hear this it is where the Holy Ghost gives you things do you think that's important yes. ah, I wish I could shake you he doesn't give you things in your mind he gives them to you in your spirit man and then that affects your mind and then that affects your physical world but it's not where he did anything I can tell people are not gonna like this they don't want it that way how many times have I have I had to say that that people just don't want it that way they want it some other way and that's why it doesn't work where do the things of God come to first your spirit man did I say it won't affect your mind or it won't influence your no of course we believe those things we believe in healing we believe in prosperity and those things are necess there are necessary to affect your physical body and physical world and mental health mm -hmm. right but that's not where God does it he does it to your spirit man first you have to have this in order first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 but God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit so he reveals things to you by his spirit for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of God verse 11 for what man knows the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of God knows no man but by the Spirit of God how do we know the things of God by our spirit man verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God or the spirit who is God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God you ready for verse 13 which things also we speak say also we speak, also we speak. what does also mean also. also means he spoke them first then we speak them so we have to listen we have to speak the things that he's giving us to speak one of course is in other tongues the other is we speak the scriptures that he has already spoken where do those things come to first the things the actual thing that he's giving to you comes to your inner man first if you can pick up on this there's nothing that you can't do or have just ask your mind is there anything I can't do or have what does your mind say well yeah I got a lot of things you can't do or have what about your physical body the body's like yeah there's a lot of things I can't do or have mm -hmm. 
spirit man is not encumbered by those limitations because he is the one who lives with God or vice versa mm -hmm. because God's the one who lives with him this fun yet yeah. which things also we speak will I speak those things if my doctrine says I can't not gonna do it worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today changes your doctrine if your doctrine will allow it you can go here mm -hmm. and then you can be developed by speaking in other tongues he will light your candle he will illumine your darkness Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose and I always like to say to them who call according to his purpose and chew on that for a while but here it says we know we have the knowledge of we we have the experiential knowledge of all things working together for good for us yeah. all things need to be working together for good for you yeah. how how's that gonna happen let's read up to verse 26 likewise the Spirit also helps our infirmities or weaknesses for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered in articulate speech that's literally what that means meaning you can't say them in your natural language so what would that be what language would that be your spiritual language he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God and we know that all things work together for good yeah. is your mind a thing mm -hmm. is your body a thing mm -hmm. then your mind and your body will begin to work in concert with you and all things will work together for good they work together so he's talking about praying in tongues here are you finally getting it all together you got to get it together mm -hmm. and you have to get it in order what's the order spirit first you get the spirit thing the spiritual things right and your doctrine right and everything comes into order we believe in speaking in other tongues your ability to use that gift speaking in other tongues will increase your effectiveness but it's your spirit man first say spirit man, spirit man. First. first holy ghost i thank you that these people have heard this word this evening and have been greatly encouraged to go on in the things that you're presenting to them and they shall begin to speak with other tongues more frequently and know that things are being put in order things that weren't in order before are now being placed in proper order and all things shall begin working together for good for you where they didn't before but they are now and we rejoice in it in Jesus name Amen, Amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I bring my tithe my offerings to you and I thank you that you are causing me to enter into a new place of wealth that I have not been in before I give you glory in Jesus name Amen. Amen. The Father is in heaven.